So, welcome back to Rick's Shop Talk. Shop Talk. Shop Talk. Shop Talk. Shop talk. Shop talk. <laughs> yes. So, we got uh, we got the uh, motor out of the 72 build. So, to back up a bit, we got a, he finally, found, finally found, found himself a 1972. No, 73. 73? Built in 72. Built in 72. Huh. Early Z1. Did I get that right? Yep. Kawasaki Z1 900 okay. Super 4, the New York State Project. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this this one, I know New York State. I don't know how, how the hell. Oh, it's oh, there's it a whole the story. Thing. There's know, a whole yeah, story yeah, to gotta, it. You got to read the books. Read the books. Yep, yep. It's in the books. So uh, this one is just over the uh, uh, thousand uh, on the. On the, uh, on the frame, frame number frame. on the frame yeah however the motor is lower lower than a thousand so it fits within the 150 but uh, uh, meaning it's a numbers matching it's just an odd case of numbers matching yeah right. so, right. The, so exactly. the, the engine and frames are usually 300 or less give or take is 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 usually matching numbers um, this particular bike falls into it it does match so they say uh, it's a early uh, 1973 model so it was built in October of, of 72. 72 yes so what that means is not only is it rare and very sought after it has a lot of parts on it oh, weird and stuff. special features that right. only the first few bikes had the, the, the low numbers I also have a 73 Z1 right my 73 Z1 is a late production bike that does not have the stuff on it that this bike has right oh right so we had, so we decided to, we had to open up the engine anyway if we're going to restore the bike because it, it was seized. Right, and seized. it still is. Yeah, yeah. Still. <laughs> this bike was not. Seized. This was not a, like a perfect example when we got it, even though it's a rare example, uh, and the motor was seized. Although I have to say, the bike, you could tell it was some sort of show bike because this it looked beautiful. <laughs> so there's there's uh, kind of two different things we could talk about here, but I think we're going to focus on the early rare stuff. Yes. But this. As Mike was saying, this particular bike was a, a street uh, hot rod back in the 70s, and it's got some really neat stuff on it. It was yeah. a show bike. Yeah. yeah, so that's why we thought we, we wanted to open it up and see yeah. what was in the engine. Since we have to open the motor anyway. Yeah. So, mm, what so have we, we found so far? <laughs> well, obviously the first thing to come off was the cam cover, so, uh, and it does have hollow, hollow cams. Yeah, hollow cams. Why don't you grab that one, Mike? Um, and by the way, everything hollow cams. We expected this. <laughs> we expected to have to use heat, penetrating oil. This bike came apart so easily. Yeah, I yeah. can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> I mean, the cams have a hole in them. Who would want that? That's right. Uh, but yeah, it came apart actually relatively easy. Yeah, it did. Everything on the engine so far has been pretty good. Um, we know that when Rick gets into the chassis, he's going to be fighting a few things, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. No, the pistons are pretty well bonded no. to the cylinder walls but I think anybody that's in the old bike world has we've all been down this road before yes. and we're gonna try our our best to uh, be gentle but we may get medieval yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it might be uh, it might be difficult to get the uh, pistons out of the cylinder and it's important that we do get them out of that cylinder even the fact that they are thousand cc pistons, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is was was for the hot rod factor it has to be returned to 900s which are easy enough done mm -hmm. we can pull the liners and put the 900 liner good 900 liners back in but we have to absolutely oh, save yeah. the, casting the casting because it, it's it's a characteristic of an early build so the bike has the 903 cc uh, uh, stamping from the early bikes yeah. on the cylinder so uh, that's a must to keep. It's a it's a like a raised pad. It's hard yeah. to explain, but anybody that knows these bikes knows that the the uh, 903 cc is raised, and there's a little ridge in there that makes it unique to the early bikes. So we you know we have that. We have the hollow cams and the head and the, the head. Ports. So we have the early <clears throat> head on this bike, which is probably the coolest thing. It's got the. Uh, vacuum takeoffs on the bottom of the intake right on the cat right in the casting yeah instead of on the uh, manifold so right 
somebody plugged them up. They yeah. said they put screws in. <laughs> that's fine, you know. But it's still there, so yeah. it's cool. And it looks like, and I'm fairly certain that this has had porting work done to it, because those yeah. intake yeah. runners, they're definitely not a cast surface. Yeah, we we were uh, the cams are hollow cams, so, so they stock, stock, cam. stock cam timing. But the bike came to us with a Kirker four into one on it and no carburetors. Hmm. So it probably had 29 smooth bores that somebody took off a million years ago because they're just awesome carbs. Uh, so what we're seeing for performance is, is we're assuming the carburetors. It's got the Kirker 4 into one that's rotted beyond belief around here somewhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the intakes are nice and ported. They look beautiful. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what else? Oh, and the, and the 1,000 cc pistons. So the Dyna ignition. And Dyna coils. ignition and some other things. So he hot rodded it the way that everybody did. So I'm surprised to see the stock cams in it. That's, I am too. that's what I keep going yeah. back to. Right. And they don't look like they were uh, 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 hard faced weld and yeah. ground. So. Yeah. They look they look normal. We didn't mic them yet or anything like that. So this is a long term project. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we'll we're going to do our best to document whatever we can. Uh, keep you know watching the, the Rick social media is the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the YouTubes and we're gonna try to put as much of this motorcycle on there as we go through um, that we can basically remember to video and take pictures of <laughs> and uh, after we do get it, uh, after we do get it uh, pulled apart and everything it'll uh, it'll be going down to the uh, motor guru down in Tennessee mr. Bob Bob Mashinsky, Bob Mashinsky. Bob Mashinsky performance yeah. Yeah. That, that will treat it like the rare gentle person that it really is there you go yeah. hen's teeth yeah. second hen's to teeth. None, <clears throat> rockingham poop hen's teeth yeah. rocking horse poop i'm yeah. sorry yeah. we yeah. live in rockingham <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're talking about <laughs> so i guess we're going to get back to this when we have yeah, a little more we get info. back to it yeah so thanks for watching keep watching and we'll let you into more info <laughs> the zed